Okay, so we continue uh, with the short explanation that I gave about the methods and the models that we can use um, on, uh, on LLM models uh, to fine tune. Now we go for the first uh, approach to, to create a customized uh, GPT. Okay, so as I said, so we use the platform of the OpenAI, so ChatGPT, that may all of you already, already use it, but here we define it as a GPTs, okay, chatgpt.com uh, slash GPTs, or more easily, so when you open the, the, the GPT or ChatGPT, so here you can open the slider, and here you can define as an explore GPT. So you would have you will come here. Okay. So here something that I should explain that okay, you should have the, the subscription, okay, premium plan. Uh that I think at this time it's 21 euros per, per month. Okay. But here in this you can see the customized GPTs uh, that's done by, by other people, okay from different categories so you can use them instead of the one that you are using generally as, as a gpt for example here it's right written trending uh, the most popular gpts by our, our community so it is for about uh, image generator so a scholar gpt in has research with uh, um, 10, 200 million uh, resources and built-in critical reading skills and so on canvas like creators or whatever okay uh, here you can define as uh, the categories of the for the writing for example uh, but we have we have scientific writing or or more friendly writing or different different th things uh, research and analysis so we have some uh, GPT so uh, like the one of them is was scholar GPT uh, the the word frame uh, scholar AI or whatever okay or if you don't want to go for each of them separately you can simply write some keywords there for example scientific writing or whatever for example if i write bio imaging i want to see if we have so bio imaging expert so this is the one uh, so educational categories is the third uh, um, the, uh, conversations so what is the latest advance in the bioimaging? So this is the, the one that you can you will see at the beginning. So it's the capability you use the dolly uh, dolly images and in browsing, okay? And uh, and so on. So you can uh, start the chat and, and do the uh, do do whatever you want. Okay? But this is not what we wanted to, to show. We want to create our own uh, GPT. Okay? Based on our data. Uh, here, so on this, if I go, for example, in this page, in this in this part of the top top right, so create, so I can create a new one. Okay, here I see see that my uh, my GPTs. Okay, so if I click on this, for example, here these are the two customized GPTs that I made. Okay, as, as a test, uh, and you can see that here is they are private. So here it's just me that can can see it. No one else can can see it. Here I said that um, I can share it with someone, but if I give the the link, there is a possibility to customize it as well. Okay, or here uh, you have the possibility to create one. So if you click and create one uh, model, okay, it will ask you a question. Simply question and answer. Okay, you said that what you wanted to do. Uh, what you want to, to make, okay, for example, uh, I want to make a chat bot about, for example, bioimaging, okay, so then we give it to, to it and then it will ask the, the next uh, question and, and so on, okay? This is one possibility to go go on that, so it will update the, the GPT for that. Another uh, possibility that is more easier and more uh, functional, okay, is to go to the config, okay? Instead of uh, waiting that it asks you and uh, so you you respond, so you go uh, to the configure. But based on the first 
explanation that you gave so it already made this one so you just need to give a name so it defined uh, the description bioimaging expert for techniques and data interpretation it give an instruction okay so then it will say that it proposed something to you to as a as a conversation starter or you can you can add more okay you can remove or add more okay if you have some for example pdf documents if you have some images that are useful to for this chatbot to make this chatbot more stronger so you can upload them okay so this is what you you, you can you can do this okay and then you can define the, the action and so on so i show you the one that i i made for example for bioimaging so what i did on this so if i also it by by imagine that I, I i made it so if i wanted to modify it so i go to directly to to modify that don't stay on this if it give me the possibility okay edit the gpt so if i come here so here are the explanation whatever uh, we don't uh, go on this but here for example i gave a zip file of almost 300 images okay so i gave the 300 images different images of the microscopy a different type of microscopy images and the aim is that uh, the user will upload an image in the the chat okay upload an image for of an analysis this is the question that the chat will ask uh, from there and then it display it and it will go to the uh, this uh, zip file to all the files that I, um, I I have here and we try to find the image from the, the database that has the maximum similarity to the image that is uploaded by the by the user okay so said that okay the image that you uh, you uploaded for example is the fluorescent microscopy so and then these are the database available for that. These are the models available for that. For example, if you wanted to do the segmentation, these are the, the models that you can use. Uh, if you wanted to do the classification, these are the models that you can use. Mostly it go to the bio, uh, bio zoo. And we will propose something. Okay? So it can be it can be it can be modified. It can be uh, we can do this anything that we, we want. Okay? It's so easy to do this. We don't need to uh to do lots of work okay you don't need to do the pre-processing but something that we should consider is that all the documents or all the data that we, we upload would be on the server of the open ai it's not our own server okay that uh, then it will go to the question of the can open ai use it or not and so on so this is something that i don't know okay but this is something that we can we should we should think think about that okay uh, but it's easy okay because later we will see when we wanted to create the chat um, uh, chat uh, chatbot like this uh, chat environment as a training data we should have when we want to customize okay on the old data we should have the question and answer okay the question as a the training answer as the as a label of that so this is what we, we give the to the model it means that we should have this database or we should create this database okay but here we don't need it to do this okay in that case if we have the pdf and so on so we can upload it here uh, in this this environment so this is the the, the back end of the open ai will do the conversion of the pdf or images or whatever to the question and answer and we retrain the the model uh, of, of that on that okay but if we stay on our site, so we don't use this environment. So before going to the fine tuning, we should do some pre-processing. Convert the PDF with some models to the question and answer. Okay. For example, like with the chat GPT, we give the document. We say that from this uh, extract, uh, for example, 200 question and answer. Okay. And then we save it. Then we go for the second document and do so it. So we have the database. Okay. But... This is the easy easy way to do this and we, we can we can we can use this this chatbot also we can have the version of the team uh, team works of the of the open ai so it means that it give you an environment that more than one person can 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 connect at the same time and, and use it you can use it in your research lab or your your company as well
okay so this is this environment it's easy to do this customize it but it's expensive a little compared with the with, with, with others so for the next video i show you okay how we can use other models because when we are in the uh, the chat gpt what we are using we are using the uh, gpt 4o models so, or in general gpt models uh, to train it so for example here we don't have the uh, possibility to use for example llama model or we don't have a possibility to have the gemini okay but from the the comparison we saw that the gpt 4o it's from the the quality and, and so on it's much uh, a little better than than other so not much it's a little uh, but there's no possibility to do to to train on other other models in the next video i will show you how we can go further and have more freedom to choose a model to 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 train okay see you in the next video